Hello, drone racers. Let's get this out of the way. Not a drone. It is the first of the new years, and that means I just spent a bunch of time with my in-laws. My in-laws are where you see I get to try boats, and they have fields all around, so you'll see all my long-range tests, or a lot of my long-range tests there. In this case, I had two boats. I have this new atomic racing boat that just looks sexy. And I have the boat that I reviewed uh, a year ago? I don't know. <laughs> and I'm gonna say it's way more fun with two boats. It'd be even more fun with three boats or, or four boats or a group of people. If you want to see the review of this boat after this, there's a link for that up in the corner right up there. It may be in the description if I remember. But for now, let's take a look at this boat. I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll go show you my experience trying it. Okay, when they offered me this one, and oh, in fair honesty, this was a review copy. They offered me this one and I said that looks hot. It was really well packaged. It's too big for my desk here. And uh, it just looks like a racing boat. It's about this long. No, seriously, uh, sorry. I'm gonna say it's about half a meter. The, the specs on it will actually have the exact dimensions. On this one, there is just one connector to remove the lid and there is a gigantic motor in here. What, let's see what this is, this thing. It's a 3540 1800 kV motor. It's still a little bit wet inside. Let's see, inside here there's a 40 amp brushless ESC. We have a servo for actually controlling the tail rotor. We have a pretty big prop on it. In here it comes with a charger, so if you were just getting this, you don't have any other drones or other boats or anything else, and you just need a charger, it is nice. It comes with a charger and extra screws and stuff in there. It comes with a stand to set it up so you can look at it all day long. This is uh, just laser cut balsa from the looks of it, but it's pretty nice. You get a manual that explains how it all works. You get a simple but very functional 2.4 gigahertz radio for it, which makes it easy to set up and bind so you can race the multiple together. We have trim buttons, we have just a foam dial. So if you've never used one of these, if you're just a drone flyer and you use sticks and you don't use one of these, that's happened with my son, oh, I just noticed. It looks like a brake inside here. It's actually a wheel and there's a brake hub inside there, disc brakes. So what you wanna do when you do this is you look at it and just turn it so it's facing you. You don't drive it this way, but to imagine this in your head. So this is facing you and this is a steering wheel and to turn right, you turn right, turn left, you turn left. Some people I see when they start out this way, they have problems and they find it confusing to know which way is which. Turn it this way, look at it this way, and then it's just like driving. This uses some AA batteries in the bottom comes with a 3S 2600 milliamp hour battery and the battery itself is fine. The biggest problem I had with this thing is the battery compartment. They have it balanced so the electronics are on one side and the battery goes on the other. But it's really kind of difficult to get this in here. There's Velcro on the bottom and you're supposed to put this in here and you get this in and then this Velcro is supposed to wrap around it somehow but there, you can't really get it wrapped over and there's too much of it. You can pull it shorter but it's really difficult to get to. So the, it stayed in place even with all the flipping that I ended up doing around with it but the battery is just difficult. Now being down here it does make it nice because it gives me a very low center of gravity for that it holds everything down left and right it's actually balanced very well which could help explain why it did so well for me there's actually a lot of water left in it so it doesn't seal very well but all these components should be waterproof it shouldn't be a problem for you so since i have two boats i was happy to have cal and grumpy trev to help me drive the wait no no i had my eight-year-old son and his cousin they helped kind of they let me drive two of them at the same time here you check it out I think this one has a lot bigger motor in it. Yeah, because so, I've seen the motors in that too. And like that one has a motor of like twice the size. There you go. <laughs> Woo, look at that thing go. Oh, mine's in the... Uh oh, get it out. Here, let's go out on the dock. Get you some air. Oh, and some of that is making <laughs> Boy, once it gets going, that thing screams. Woo. That's impressive. And this it's is coming. This is there rough is. water. Whoa! <laughs> that was close! Look at this last crack. Oh there it goes. 
I don't know how long these batteries will last, so. Can I try that? Okay. Pull the trigger. Now don't turn too fast. Whoa, whoa. Don't turn too fast. Okay, don't hit the side either. Turn this way. There you go. All right. coming off the air. Okay, let's see which one's faster. Can you guys both bring them over here? Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> Okay, they don't, the we don't, they don't they don't go very straight. Okay, aim that way. Okay, ready, set, go. Don't hit the wheel, Aiden. Okay, ready, set, go. No, 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 no. I, it's or, going the opposite direction then it, it wants to turn. All right, let's try it again. I'll you drive this one. Okay, ready? Set, go. go. That one's that was a lot smoother than this one, and faster. I, I told you guys, it's not just me. Uh, yeah, two boats is definitely more fun than one. Oh shoot! Uh oh. See that one won't flip. That's pretty good though. It took us that long to get it stuck upside down. that way oh we don't even need it look at that last burst last push so there you go I'll put the cover back on so it looks good I'll probably I might just set up it just looks cool sitting here um, it's weak point is if it does end up upside down it, it's kind of stuck so you, I was really really glad to have another boat this boat on the other hand can flip over upside down if it ends up upside down and you floor it it'll flip itself over so if you only have one boat this was a little more convenient for that but this is just looks better and is more fun to drive i am not a boat expert i am not a boat racer but i'll, I'll say it's fun to get them out if you have the opportunity you have a place that you can do it i would highly recommend it i mean basically if you have somewhere to ri drive a boat you you need a boat actually you need two boats so when people come over you can race them and you shouldn't drink and fly but you could drink and drive these boats around um, just just saying not that there was any of that with the eight and the 12 year old so that's gonna be the end of this video if you found this useful leave a like and a comment down below this is the best most fun boat I've ever driven I've driven two. this is this but this is number one of my two but until next time, remember, the boat section was actually recorded with my new GoPro Hero 7. Maybe it looks smoother, maybe it doesn't. Either way, hopefully this is going to make it a little easier to get some more action shots this year. 